All right, guys, we've got a little bit of a basket case kind of deal going on today. So my buddy put a brand new Predator 212 on his daughter's mini bike, and I get the old engine that has issues. It was running good. I've heard it run before. Um, muffler. I'm not exactly sure what brand this engine is. Uh, it's just some Chinese label stuff, it looks like. But uh, I figured I might make a little interesting video just to kind of see what's going on with it, see what kind of shape the engine's in. Uh, just kind of go from there and see what happens. So, let's get everything unboxed and look at everything. All right, so this is what we get to work with. Looks like just about everything's here, maybe everything. Valve cover, muffler you seen, air filter, choke thing for the carburetor. Uh, let's take it apart. There's the gasket for the valve cover. That seems excessively loose. He said it was popping out of the exhaust, backfiring. So I figure it's either valve related, probably carburetor too, and possibly the flywheel key could be sheared. It's kind of a rare thing on these. I'm pretty sure these have a steel flywheel key, but it's something to kind of check out on. It. The gas tank's in good shape. Uh, still looks new inside, which is surprising because it was kept outside. It might have been an issue with water and the fuel or something too. If it's got any oil and it also has a very small crankshaft you had to buy a whole new clutch and everything to fit the predator engine uh, it's got oil in it pretty clean oil too so it might be a low air engine i'm not really sure how old it is but i'm gonna check a few things out off camera here real quick and we'll go from there but uh that looks like a 5.8 shaft i pull the spark plug out and it's just a uh, generic spark plug not a name brand but the end of it's all rusted and everything that's never good because it means there's you know, there's moisture in the cylinder we don't know it could be a stuck ring a broken ring scored cylinder or stuck valve or, and they're not i don't feel the smoothest but i doubt it's a stuck valve because they're but it's possible that they're not sealing all the way it turns over but it sounds like something rubbing so i don't know if this is the original Recoil or not? Uh, it says champion, like a champion generator, so it might be off of something like that, and not an actual uh, Honda clone style engine. If worst comes to worst, we have a Predator 212 down here. We can swap parts out on temporary to get it going, just to see what happens. So yesterday when I got this, it cranked over, but now I can't get it to turn over. So I don't know if there is something in the cylinder or if the something wrong with the recoil. I mean I feel like it's catching but the motor does appear to be locked. So it sounds like something was rubbing. So I want to take the shroud off just to make sure it's not a you know, a rock or something stuck in there causing the problem. I don't want to take the head off unless I have to. So I want to take the coil loose because it seems like everything is rusted excessively here. So that's not the problem. Something is locked on it. So we're gonna try to get just a little bit of leverage just to see. I don't always recommend trying to uh, get a little more leverage on something like this because you can't damage the engine. I just kind of want to see if it would do that and free right up. back together it does have compression not exactly sure if it's good enough but we'll 
find out. I'm going to check the valve clearance real quick. So we have spark, but it's not the best. You see it's kind of it's kind of jumping around. It's like a yellowish orange color. So we'll try a different spark plug and just to see what happens. So this is not a new plug, but it's a torch brand I took out of something else. We've got a good purple spark. Uh, much better than what was in the other plugs. So that could have been the problem. Just a bad spark plug. So if you remember in the video I made of that Kohler engine I got, it looks very similar to this, but it was brand new in the box. We opened it up. It didn't have a valve cover gasket from the factory, but this engine here does. And the thing just don't make sense. The valves look like they were adjusted right, and we got compression, so we'll just see what happens. We'll get it all back together here, and we'll see what happens. So with the carburetor part, you can see that white dust in there, and that almost almost always means there's been water in there. You see there's water right now that we're talking about it, and the jet is stripped, or he apparently tried to take it apart to clean it, and it just wasn't happening. Common problem with this, and I'm going to try to run a piece of little wire through it and clean it the best I can with it still together, so we'll see what happens. That was probably the whole problem with it. The jet's probably clogged up completely. All right, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna spray a little carburetor cleaner out. Well, it's running on carburetor cleaner. We'll have to go from there and see if it'll run on gas. So I mounted to the test stand, thought I'd check the oil in again, and kind of what I suspected. If you look at the oil, it's uh, kind of gray and milky, so more than likely it's got water in it, unless it's metal grit, but we'll try to get it running first. I can't really tell what it is. I don't feel nothing on my finger, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, turn the fuel on, put about half a tank of gas in it, and we're just going to make sure we got fuel flow. I also, I want, also want to do that just in case there's any dirt came out of the fuel line or any water or anything. So let's just see what happens. Choke's on. That's on. I'm kind of concerned about the throttle linkage because I don't know if any of the governor part works or not. It feels like it does. If not, we'll just have to pull it off and see what happens. It only run with half choke and the smoking was just from the oil and the muffler and that oil I put in the cylinder apparently because it quit. But this is what the oil was looking like. Uh -huh. It's definitely moisture in it. I think we'll call it a runner. It uh, don't smoke now. That's just a oil build up in the muffler and what I put in the cylinder. Uh, still only wants to run on half choke, so that's because I can't get that jet out and clean it. So I can pick up a carburetor for it. I have another piece that uh, this will bolt down to. This one's broke, so I can change it out later. I did change the oil in it. I put used oil in it that came out of an engine I just flushed, and it's just a little dirty. It's not. 
you know, really discolored that much so I'll probably change it again here in a minute just to make sure there's no moisture left in it and call it done. So it'll be a good backup engine for something if we ever need it or I can do some type of experimental stuff with it or something. Well guys thanks for watching and if you get any questions or comments about this or anything similar feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching guys.